What's up, you guys? I'm Tay. I'm Trey. Also known as Double Portion. Listen, you guys, as you're just now tuning into the video, we are back with podcast number three. But listen, you know that every week that we talk about something different, listen, we are super excited about what we're going to be talking about tonight. We got a special guest here t- with us, our beautiful mom, Come on. Rona Neely. Listen, Rona Neely is our mother. She's going to be joining us on this podcast this evening. And this week, we are talking about forgiveness. Come on, somebody say forgiveness. Come on. There's somebody on here that just needs to work on forgiving. Can I get an amen? Come on, I just feel them in the room. But listen, we're going to have fun tonight talking about this. Each and every one of us are going to share our experiences. Um, if we're still having a hard time forgiving someone or, or a situation. But listen, stay tuned with us and we will be right back. you guys did did you enjoy that little commercial before we get started make sure you go purchase our music on any musical outlets listen it's called life transparent by tay and trey neely aka double portion so make sure you get that music because it would truly bless you but listen let's go ahead and get into the question rona um first question i want to ask you is what is forgiveness like how if you want to talk to the people at the camera, what is forgiveness? Because sometimes I, I don't even really know what forgiveness is. Like, what's the true meaning of forgiveness? Yeah. Um, I feel like forgiveness is a decision that you make to release. Um, notice I didn't say to forget, but it is a decision to release someone or something particularly an offense um i don't know if you want me to elaborate on that okay so um if someone offends me hurts my feelings um does something wrong to me talks about me whatever if i'm offended by someone's uh, words or actions the way they handled me the way they treated me then i have to make a conscious decision even though my flesh is hurting my feelings are hurt um, I'm feeling betrayed I'm feeling mishandled misused and abused I still have to make a decision and say for myself this is what I choose to do I don't have to but I choose to forgive I choose to release the offense to get it out of me so that it's not affecting me, my health, it's not affecting me moving forward, my progress, but it's, I'm releasing it so that it's not a weight that I'm carrying. Right. And, and, and I'm a, I'm a piggyback off what you just said, um, about forgiveness. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and share my experience with forgiveness and then we can move on to the next person. Is that all right with you? All right. But listen, I was, I also um, dealt with having a hard time forgiving people, you know, even even in through relationships in the past, you know, and it has also affected uh, future relationships that I was in. Um, for example, the one that I am in now, I'm just going to keep it real with you. In the beginning of that relationship, I had a hard time with forgiving the people that hurt me. And I really couldn't focus on the person that was there, you know, and I like I had told myself I made up in my mind was like, I always say this, I was hurt so many times, I'm not gonna let this next person hurt me. You know, it's always, I'm gonna hurt you before you hurt me. You know, and I had a hard time forgiving those people and I couldn't even move on. I couldn't move forward on on the person that was there right in front of me. So, um, and, and, it, and it took a toll on our relationship at the beginning. You know, I had trust issues. You know, the, all that plays into forgiveness and, but I had to make a decision 
Come on, somebody. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I had to make a decision that I have to really forgive those people that hurt me so that I can move forward in what God has for me. Yeah. Um, what the other female was trying to install into me. I couldn't I couldn't hear it in everything. Like she would say, why won't you just trust me for you got to forgive those people that hurt you. I'm not going to do what they did to you. But it took me a long time to really forgive those people. Um, but that that's my story um, about forgiveness. But before we get to the next person about forgiveness, we're going to uh, do a little transition with the clip but listen we're going to give you guys well we're going to give trey a chance to tell you guys his story behind forgiveness and uh y'all just stay tuned with us we're back listen uh, let's go ahead and get into the next question um trey um, what was your experience with forgiving forgiveness like how what did you like when was that moment where you had to say i gotta forgive this person yes so it was a moment in my life where it was really hard to forgive this girl. I'm gonna piggyback off of what you kind of said with the relationship. Um, I was also in a relationship for about three three years. I don't know if y'all knew it that was, it was that long. Mm. I'm not gonna say the girl's name, but we was we was in a relationship for about three years. Um, I did a lot of things for her. I was there for her through some hard times, and when she went off into college, she got pregnant by another guy and. And that hurt me. That hurt me like yeah. never before. You know, I think that's one of the, like, the hardest thing I've probably ever been through mm -hmm. is um, just being cheated on like that. Um, but um, I had to forgive. Like I said, like, it's not easy to forgive. And we can't, we can't sit here and say that, oh, just because I forgave you, the pain is going to go away. Right. Yeah. It's not going to go away as soon as we think it's going to go away. We, we got to understand that that takes time. That takes um, years um, to to get over what that person did to you. Miss Ronnie, you have something to yeah. say? I mean, when you said that, I was thinking about how, you know, people say, oh, you got to forgive and forget. You need to let that go. Yeah. Um, but forgiveness is a process. Yes. It's a process and no one can determine how long your process is going to be. That's it. God determines that. But you, you can't allow someone to tell you, oh, you need to just let that go. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's, that's like, no. You can't, you can't rush the process. You can't um, fake the process. It is a process. I, I was sharing earlier, you can, you know, forgive somebody for throwing the rock. Let's say that. But can you forgive them for the ripples that the rock caused? Yes. You know, my granddaddy used to get upset with me. He would take me fishing sometimes and I would get bored uh, just, you know, waiting. And so I would start throwing rocks in the water. Well, he would get so upset with me, but he had to forgive me for throwing the rock in the pond. But he also had to forgive me for causing the ripples that came with throwing the rock. It. See, it wasn't just the rock that disturbed the peace of the water. It wasn't just the rock that disturbed the fish and his, his fishing hobby. It was the rippling effect. Wow. And so sometimes someone can offend you, but you and you can forgive them for what they did. You can forgive them for the act. You can forgive them for the offense. But can you forgive them for the rippling effect? For the things, the consequences of their actions. Well, because you did this to me, I now suffer from this. See, I, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to share a little bit about, about my experience. I mean, I, I was a grudge holder. You hear me? Like, if you yeah. offended me, like, that was it. That was it. I was never forgiving you. I, was ne I don't need yeah. to talk to you anymore. And I felt like I was doing uh, something big by holding a grudge. I was like, well, I'm going to withhold my love from you. I'm going to withhold myself from you. So I'm not going to forgive. I'm just, gonna... but you know what? I was doing all that holding. I was holding myself. Yeah. Like Tay said earlier, like you were saying, I was so focused on not letting them go and be free and letting that, that situation be released from me that I was holding myself hostage. So I was building up a wall with bricks and concrete. I was building up this wall of defense, but I did not realize that for every layer of, of those bricks that I was laying as a protection, I was locking myself in. My God. See, I, I was creating a prison for myself 
with the bricks that I was putting up, thinking that it was a barrier of protection. It was more like a prison. And so it is a process. I, I had to forgive a stepfather for molesting my sister, for raping my sister. I had to forgive a father for abandoning me and choosing drugs. I had to forgive my mother for abandoning me and, and her verbal abuse and her physical abuse. I had to forgive boyfriends who, who left me for my, you know, with, with children to raise on my own. But I didn't just forgive those acts. Every single time there is a situation to arise that pokes that sore issue, I have to forgive again. Yes. I have to choose to forgive them again and again and again. And the Bible says in the book of Matthew that where, where it was a parable that Jesus gave, because I think I, I may be mixing it up, but I think Talk Peter said, it. how many times do I need to forgive? I mean, you may have somebody that constantly um, offends you. How many times do I have to forgive? And, and Jesus gave the parable 70 times, seven times a day. In other words, you continually forgive, not for them, but for you. Because if you expect, if you expect God to forgive you for your trespasses, if you forgive, expect God to forgive you of your debts, then you should be willing to forgive somebody else. Now we said it's not, it doesn't mean forget. Yeah. It, it does not mean forget it. You need to take those experiences and those hurts and those pains. You need to take that and use it as uh, like um, what do you, wisdom it should turn into wisdom and you should say okay I'm going to use that situation to be more wise you know this situation has caused me to open my eyes more you know to be a little bit more di uh, you know vigilant in what's going on in my life um, I, I can be careful it doesn't mean I'm just going to say okay well let's all get together and have dinner now we good no 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 just because you forgive somebody, it does not give them access to continue to abuse you. Come on, somebody. Say that one more time. Say that one more time. Just because you forgive someone, which means you are releasing that offense out of you, it does not give them permission or access to continue to abuse you. And sometimes people think, well, I thought you was over that. I thought you forgave me for that. I did. <laughs> I forgave you before you even asked for forgiveness. Come on. That's right. Because Some people ain't even going to ask for forgiveness. They may never ask for forgiveness. They may never admit their faults. They may never even acknowledge that they offended you. They may not even know that they offended you. And you can't sit around and wait for them. To, to make the decision about your life and your future and what God has for you. So while you're waiting for them, God is waiting for you to say, let them go. Let the offense go. You had a good use. One of y'all said something a few minutes ago um, where you said you couldn't even move into the other relationship because it was baggage. You had excess baggage that you were that you could not release offense of baggage. You were trying to drag that baggage into another relationship and you could not even receive what you what was right there before you because you were so consumed and overwhelmed and weighted down Hurt. and in bondage from the past. So forgiveness is a conscious decision to release the offense not for them but for you so that you will not get trapped so that you do not find yourself in bondage you know listen i hope you guys got something from that but listen rona we thank you for so much for those words listen yes. that was powerful remember i forgive you but i will never forget it all right that, and, and that's basically what you're saying that, that's basically <laughs> what i'm saying you don't have to forget it yeah. but you do need to forgive. forgive if you want god to forgive you yeah then you need to forgive, forgive. yeah forgive yeah. that person yes listen we're gonna be right back all right guys so we are back but before we end this podcast we want to just give everybody a chance just to give you guys some encouraging words before we before we end this okay um i guess i'll start first since i have the mic in my hand um so the topic is forgiveness so let me just say this whoever has hurt you whatever it is that somebody has done to you don't let it hold you down remember like we said you got to be able to move forward keep just 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 move forward because if you if you forgive you can move forward and I don't, you do not want to be stuck 
in a situation thinking about stuff that done happened years ago and you haven't forgave that person so those are my encouraging words forgive and so that you can move on you know and i'm gonna piggyback off what my brother said we always do that but listen listen so basically i would say just also forgive that person you know that person that may have hurt you dad that dad that may have hurt you you know you're holding on to that pain and that hurt inside forgive mom forgive dad forgive uncle forgive the church if they hurt you whatever situation that uh, that you have came in contact with with trying having a hard time forgiving that situation forgive i promise you if you forgive things will begin to you will be you will begin to see things clearly you know and you can move forward so um stop crying about it stop worrying about it just get on your knees and say god help me to forgive you know i know it's hard to forgive and i'm not saying that it's easy but ask god to help you with the process of forgiving yes i also want to encourage you and say to start forgiving yourself a lot of times we hold ourselves hostage because of something we did and maybe you're the only one who knows about it but you cannot forgive yourself for doing it maybe you chose to do something that you said you would never do you have to start there forgive yourself if you are that father who abandoned your children forgive yourself if you maybe started and you're on a path that you seem to can't correct forgive yourself for the choices that you made you have to forgive yourself okay you can't love someone else if you don't love you you can't forgive someone else if you can't forgive yourself so you need to start there okay start by forgiving yourself all right. Um, I think y'all want yeah, to. That's powerful. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and pray before we end. So go ahead. Yeah. Well, Father God in heaven, I just thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for Tay and Trey and Double Portion for opening up their hearts um, and their home to to millions of people. Father God, I just pray right now for every single person that is watching. I pray that you begin to plow up the, their hearts, oh God. Show them the areas that they have held bitterness, anger, and resentment. Sometimes it's buried so deep that we don't even remember when we buried it. So Father, I pray that you plow up the heart. Make the heart pliable and soft and, and that it can receive what you have for it. And then Father God, sow the seed of forgiveness and begin to water it with your love and your grace, oh God, so that they may be able to reap a harvest of forgiveness and so that they may be able to continue to forgive other people so that they can move in the path and the purpose that you created and laid out for them. Father God, we thank you. We call it all done. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. 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 Listen, before we go, listen, we always got to do this. Listen, if you have not got our music on any musical outlet, listen, it's called Life Transparent. Listen, it's all on mu any musical outlet that you go to. So listen, um, make sure you guys go listen to our music. Go buy it. Go listen to it. Buy it. Listen to it and buy it. All right. And listen, before we go, if you would uh -huh. like to book double portion for anything, listen, we Come sing on. too now. Yeah. We love to worship God. Um, so if you would like to book us for anything, just go to what? Double portion worship at gmail.com. Listen, that's double portion worship at gmail.com. Listen, that's all that we have for you today. Listen, be ready for podcast number four with a different topic. Listen, we listen, we love you guys. May God's grace be upon you, and we will see you guys next time. See ya. Love you.